hope you enjoyed my story today, A Rainbow Ramayan. Like I said, the actual story is so huge, a massive poem, 7,000 years old. I'm also going to take you through some arts and crafts activities so that this weekend you can join in the fun and celebrate Diwali with us all. So an idea that I had for arts and crafts was that following the rainbow, if you can paint a semicircle of red, a semicircle of orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet, just like you might have done for the NHS, if you can make a rainbow, okay, and then ask a grown-up to cut a little line here, then with another piece of cardboard, cut a long strip like a ruler, and add on a triangle at the top, so it's like an arrow shape. So just use some cellar tape to stick it together. Ask a grown-up to help you with that part because it is quite fiddly. And then if you push it through at the bottom, you'll be able to pull the arrow down and push it back up, and you will have made yourself a Ramayan, rainbow, bow and arrow. <laughs> if you think about it, if you remember Raven and his ten heads, all your worries, when you pull the arrow and then you let go, you can push your worries away and become balanced. Yeah, you can make yourself a rainbow Ramayan, bow and arrow. If you wanted to, because I didn't actually say all of the colours as I went through the story. If you listen to the story again, can you spot the colours of the rainbow? So when I said that they all came back to a welcoming, beautiful night sky, and I put this up and I put the light behind it, this is the last part of the rainbow where we have violet. So if you go through the story, you can spot the colours of the rainbow and you can also try and create some of the props that I made so that you can tell the story yourself. Another idea is to use some Play-Doh or Lego. So as an example, you know we had blue sea. So you can make a Lego set of sea and then you can build the bridge going across. You can do Lanka, which is a golden, big, huge castle. And on the other side was the forest, so you can make a green forest. You can do that with Lego or Play-Doh. And I had a lot of fun creating a Lego set for the story of Diwali. And you can also make it with Play-Doh. You can try making the props that I showed you. Um, I did want to share one of them because it's a little bit tricky. So this here is the love heart that we've begun with and it's just the box. It's just the box that I painted some glue on the top so you can again ask a grown up and then get some tissue or pom poms and you can stick it on and make a love heart shape or you can make any shape you like, absolutely anything. You can do a candle, you can um, do a Pokemon, you can do anything you want and you've got yourself a neat little box there for story. Another thing that I really enjoyed making was this night sky. So all you have to do is get some cardboard, I just got a bit of packaging, and stick on some uh, paper, and just to make it a bit thick so you can hold it. And what you do is you get some glue and a paintbrush, and you paint the design that you want, the patterns that you want. So here, for example, for Raven, um, I added a line there, and a line there, and then 10 heads. Dab, 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 dab. And then I sprinkled on the gold glitter and you leave it to dry. You lift it up after a little while, take off all the excess glitter. Um, please do it with a grown up so that the glitter um, is on uh, a newspaper or something so then you can uh, keep the rest of the glitter. And there you have it. You have Raven just there. You might make some great things using these patterns. Um, now, you might be wondering how to do something tricky like this. Um, if I could do it, you could do it. Uh, I'll show you my drawing at the back, which is, is not that great. Um, but if you can see 
I was thinking about how to do this and how to make some scary eyes and in the end I didn't because we just turned it around. But you can get a lollipop stick and stick it in the middle and then that helps you to hold it. I added in a little plastic straw so then it looks like a, a sword and you basically just need 10 circles really as a head. So if you draw 10 circles and a crown on the top, draw a body, some scary hands and just ask your grown-up to cut around it and sellotape it to a stick and then all you need is a little torch. You don't shine this in anyone's eyes and you can have yourself a scary raven. See, it's too bright if you shine it that way so don't shine it in anyone's eyes but what you can do is have a, a raven shadow. Let's see how to do this. Can you see there? That sounds like a pirate. <laughs> but yeah, that is raven. Scary guy, because he's got lots of silly thoughts in his head. But if he does a bit of yoga, he'll find himself some balance and he'll be okay. And Rav could see, Rav, Ram could see that he, he had a good side to him and it's a very big part of celebrating Diwali, remembering to keep balance, light, and so no matter how dark and sad you might be feeling, you can always create some light. So please, this weekend, light a candle and join in Diwali celebrations with us all. Um, happy Diwali! Happy Diwali, children!